Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Ijira Naida Nagatoro-san episode number 3. Alright, the previous episode. It was um, another fun filled episode and uh, you know like as always Nagatoro bullies senpai and she um, <laughs> played a weird game with him and you know like and we kind of got to see how she herself is so weak towards you know advances on herself but she kind of tries to like you know go on the offensive but she's not good at defensive that was like what we basically saw <laughs> and then there was this whole section with uh like nagatoro kind of uh, going with his friends outside and there's these kind of like guys and all and we also got to see how nagatoro like you know it's kind of uh does not care about all like most of the things but for senpai she is like you know kind of teases him and kind of bullies him in a way it's not bullying but it's teasing you know teases him and we can see like how is different the way she interacts with senpai and the way she interacts with other people and this kind of shows that she is intrigued by senpai's you know how senpai reacts to everything so that's what basically is and like senpai's like unique reactions and everything that like you know makes her happy so that's why she like continues doing it and yeah so <laughs> let's see what happens this episode what more weird thing nagatoro comes up with so without further ado let's get started with ijira naite nagatoro san episode number three all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sing it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Senpai is drawing again or sketching? Yeah, sketching. What is it she's, he's sketching? What? <laughs> I prefer drawing still lives to people. <laughs> um Wait. Oh, she she must be wearing some kind of like bloomer or something. Or swimsuit, swimsuit. Okay. I'm sure about it. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, the faces she makes! <laughs> oh god! This song is amazing, I have to say, like... I did not expect something... Like some kind of like... This is like a rock song, isn't it? Yeah, especially the ending portion. But in a way, it kind of matches the whole, like, you know, atmosphere of this show. Like, the whole rock, you know, uh, thing. <laughs> okay. One thing I'm really glad about is, like, these type of shows are getting animated. Like, you know, those where there's, like, only two people who are, like, the main characters, like, you know, Nagatoro, Uzaki-chan, um, Komi, uh, no, not, Komi-san is not still there. Um, what was that? Takagi-san, Takagi-san. And another show is going to come out. It's, uh, what was the name? Sono Bisukudol wa Koi wo Shiru, or something like that. It's also something similar to this, like, Nagatoro. You know, where there's, like, two main leads, where, like, they are the main focus um if like when it comes out i also plan on reacting to that because i also read the manga a few like the first few chapters of that as well it's quite good <clears throat> let's play again senpai damn she did not he did not bring a umbrella oh
<laughs> Tempa, you need some exercise. <laughs> oh god, he's Yeah, let's just like yeah. Just take shelter for some time. Oh no, I know what's coming. <laughs> Passing shower, okay. Yep. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> um Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like because Oh no! I don't think that's like that's what's going to happen. I think no, 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 no. Oh no! I don't think so. Oh god! There you go. <laughs> um. She'll bounce back. Just wait a minute. There you go. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> she bounces back like that, you know? <laughs> oh, damn. It's, it's, a, it's a whole storm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like it's raining for quite a while. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and there some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the way his glasses. I don't think anyone's home. Oh, or maybe there people are home. What? <laughs> the cat also looks like her. Oh no! Oh no! Everyone's got even the. We, the cat. Come on! Oh my god, that was nasty. <laughs> Wait, she even went in and got changed and he was daydreaming outside? <laughs> How long was his daydream? Oh. <clears throat> hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um <laughs> Oh god. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Face. <laughs> Prices sus one there with <laughs> the the subtitles. <laughs> okay. Nani? <laughs> oh! Oh! What the? <laughs> Is this his delusion? Oh. Okay. <laughs> What's with the video game? Is this some kind of... Just here. Oh my god, look at the characters! Okay. What's with the character? Oh. Oh, damn! Senpai is strong! Wow, that was... <laughs> nothing but a big mouth. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you can beat him here. Beat her here. <laughs> okay. If you win this, he'll he'll win the whole round. Oh. Damn. What the hell? You will kick like that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Wow. And that's it. Scrub. Yeah, the, the one last round. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't doubt that.
Okay, well, the one thing that he could have won, he lost. <laughs> They're exactly alike. Yeah, like that's what I was saying. And yeah, he looks nothing like him. But you know. Over here, Senpai. <clears throat> Oh damn, it's backed. Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing she has some seats. Oh! Oh damn, these girls are also here. What's with their hair color? Okay. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. Okay, well, now that now there's three of them. They are genuinely surprised. Bison, <laughs> bison. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> not the same. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> they Oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh god, what? <laughs> Bug. <clears throat> oh God, she's she's pissed off. Oh no, a fight is breaking out. Oh God. Um. Oh, damn. Okay, okay, no need to scream. Like, um, that's awkward. Like, you didn't need to scream, you know, like now the whole school, <laughs> yeah, like the whole school. <laughs> Python. <laughs> hmm. It's 
smack or uh, sukum the translation is a little bit <laughs> this a lot of things will be uh, missed in translations here the whole sukum and bokeh thing you know the whole landane that thing <laughs> It was senpai. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You, you need to like, you know, retort. Wittily, you know? Yeah, not some, like you need to, you know, use intelligence and retort. Uh, chop. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <coughs> this whole comedy sketch. Okay. Um what how do you even retort at this? Yeah. What? What's happening with him? Um Wait, what? Um Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. You see, she jumps back, you know, bounces back. And, I mean, Okay, I did not mean it that way, but you know, bouncing back, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, this is Nagatoro, you know, like, she teases, teases, and when, like, you know, Senpai kind of retaliates, <laughs> she kind of, like, you know, gets embarrassed for a little bit. And then that smile comes out, that evil smile, and she bounces back again. And... <laughs> weird. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> like, I'm sure you guys, like, you know, uh, like, everyone can now understand what this is actually about. Like, this is not just a whole, like, you know, like a person bullying a person, not like that. Like... Like, you know, you see that the first episode and this episode, the difference. This is going to change a lot more as well in the future. It's going to get a lot more, like, you know, what can I say? Like, not bullying, but teasing. Like, it's, that's what, like, basically it's going to happen. And the whole, like, you know, the atmosphere of the anime is going to change. Slowly and slowly. So, like... I'm sure a lot of people got uncomfortable in the first episode but as I said like give it a little bit of time and 
I'm sure you'll see, like, notice the changes, how it changes, and you know, everything will become better and better. Okay, that's the end. All right, so <coughs> <coughs> in this episode, we can see how, like, you know, the whole thing is changing. Like Nagatoru, like the first few episodes was like Nagatoru was only like bullying him, and now it's teasing, and then like slowly, slowly Nagatoru is also getting embarrassed at stuff, and <coughs> yeah, and so <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so this episode, uh, the first portion is the whole like uh, getting shelter from rain, and uh, the whole swimsuit thing, and. You know, like senpai, it, it was like quite normal to see why senpai kind of mis misunderstood that. Like you know, the way Nagatoru kind of does it, like kind of like, <clears throat> like you know, in the first scene of the anime, like she kind of <clears throat> like like was wearing the swimsuit, but still like was teasing him with that, and that's what senpai thought that that's probably what's happening. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> like I doubt someone wears a swimsuit underneath. You know their clothes while going back home like they were going back home so <laughs> i don't know what senpai thought at that moment but he made a grave misunderstanding uh, like you know <clears throat> what, do, what do you call it? misinterpretation and <clears throat> turned around and that's when like we see like you see like what Nagato, what, what happens they both get embarrassed and nagatoro kind of like you know is like embarrassed and a few seconds pass and that she she brings out that smile that evil smile <laughs> and then she goes back again trying to tease him <clears throat> so yeah and that's basically it and then like they go to their house and like Naga uh, senpai kind of thinks like their family members are also all like nagatoro even their cat is also like nagatoro like pissing at his <laughs> you know pissing on his feet like damn that's that's some nasty thing like no <laughs> i doubt their cat does something like that but anyways like that was like senpai's delusion and <clears throat> then like they start playing a video game where obviously senpai is stronger because senpai is <clears throat> more accustomed to all of these even though nagato has said that i play these games uh, i'm sure like senpai played this a lot more times than nagatoro and yeah he was accustomed to it but like <laughs> senpai kind of thought that oh like my time has come i'm going to beat her and i'm going to show her that like you know i'm the strong strongest here unfortunately that also falls flat <laughs> and <laughs> Nagatoro uses her special technique blowing in his ears and you know like tickling him uh, <laughs> and she win wins like that so yeah Unfortunately, Senpai loses here as well. The only place he could have won. And then in the next portion, we see like his interaction with the other friends, uh, Nagatoro's other other friends. Uh, and we never, saw, um, yeah, I think in the first episode we did not see their faces. Their faces were like kind of hidden. And you know, in this episode, their faces were shown. <clears throat> Even though I've read the manga, I've kind of forgotten about this portion. And one thing I kind of remember is. Uh, like I really remember, like that really um, put an impression on me. Uh, the the girl with the pigtails, it's called pigtails, isn't it? The two, like you know, pigtails or twin tails? I think it's. Oh no, it's not pigtails. I think it's twin tails. I'm not sure, but you know when it's like kind of tied over here, these two. Uh, that girl with the yellowish type of hair. <laughs> she's she's hilarious, like. As far as I can remember in the manga, the faces she makes, oh my god. <laughs> she makes some weird faces, which is hilarious. Like, I'm not talking about, like, you know, weird like Nagatoro weird, not that type of weird. Nagatoro's face, like, the facial expressions of Nagatoro is pretty, like, you know, unique and kind of funny as well. But, like, this girl's facial expressions are even <laughs> weirder. I don't know if they're going to do the same thing in the anime, you know, the animation or not. But the manga faces were hilarious, the faces that she made. Like, it, it, it seemed like she was kind of, like, on her own dream world. Like, you know, kind of like, a, like a, an airhead type of a character. 
she like looked like and like weird faces she made and i don't know if those type of faces will be animated just like that in the anime or not but like like i'm looking forward to what like you know what happens and <clears throat> like um, i have to say one thing like uh, the nagato's manga like uh <clears throat> the comedy factor was heightened because of the uh, sketches of nagatoro and these girls and the other characters as well like <laughs> the way the drawing was done was so hilarious especially like as i said like nagatoro's hands like you know like there's this whole like panel where nagatoro does not have any hands and it's like an octopus hand and the way she kind of like you know moves her hands and everything and like wiggles her hands and nagatoro's facial expressions and as i said like this girl's uh, like facial expression the the way that, like you know she, the facial expressions she made like all of those kind of like heightened the comedic factor and it was so hilarious i'm not sure if they're going to do something like that in the anime or or not but i'm looking forward to that <laughs> and <laughs> and yeah and also like the face that nagatoro made the like when you know those girls were kind of messing with senpai and <laughs> <laughs> you know the 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 eye like it's kind of like like i have to, like i have to say like it's really great that they keep kept the facial expressions and the way you know the way that it is in the manga because it's hilarious the facial expressions are so damn good and <laughs> and yeah and you know like we kind of see like <laughs> like her getting mad on behalf of senpai at that moment as well and <clears throat> then like her kind of clashing with the other girl the orange haired girl now one thing i was really surprised about in this episode was the color scheme of the uh, the other two girls like the hair color like i was not like i could have never expected a hair color like this like while i was reading the manga the manga was black and white so you know like you cannot kind of like like we knew that nagatoro was like nagatoro had like black hair we knew that that was kind of obvious but like you know these two girls like we had no like while reading the manga we had no clue what like how they looked like what color scheme they had and damn they have some flashy hair colors i have to say like uh, the um, the girl with the twin tails uh, she has like like a blondish type of a color and at the same time like in the upper portion is kind of dark you know like a dark yellowish type of a um, shade and her like eye color is also the same as her hair color like it's quite unique i have to say and the other girl like it's also kind of same like her um hair color is kind of orange you know like an orangish type of a like shading and uh what what's her eye color i've let, let me check yeah her eye color is also like orange and she like her eye has this uh like you know lining of like a black lining and a small like you know uh, the iris and the pupil can like it, it can be like differentiated but the other girls her eye is like just like a color it, it, there's no lining there's no like you know um border in her eyes like <clears throat> in, in her eyeballs not eyes eyeballs so yeah and yeah like and that was, that was like i was quite surprised at that color scheme and i uh, like surprised i'm talking about the good type of surprise like i like this like this type of a flashy type of a hair color it kind of like suits them both of them and yeah and then um yeah as we saw like they like kind of were kind of messing with senpai and Arthur got mad at that her eye completely changed okay that was hilarious and then senpai kind of like you know kind of gets up and like they they would have start fight started fighting you know if senpai didn't like stand up and said something like that so thankfully like that did not happen and i'm guessing all is good now and then we get to the next portion of the the comedy sketch that they were doing now um like i've been like watching anime for quite a while like eight years so i know this like whole thing i'm sure most of the people know about this whole comedy sketch that like you know happens in 
Japanese, the whole sukkomi and bokeh. Like, you know, like there's like uh, there's this thing like uh, for people who did not un understand properly this portion, there's this thing where uh, a comedy sketch happens when like there's usually two persons and uh, one person acts as the bokeh and another person acts as a sukkomi. Like as far as I know, as far as my knowledge, I might be wrong about a few things like, you know, so I'm just like telling everything as far as my <coughs> knowledge goes. <coughs> so the bokeh like, you know, <coughs> the bokeh kind of like says something like the bokeh here was Nagatoro, you know, like she was acting as a bokeh, like she was saying stuff like, you know, kind of like saying weird things and trying to make a comedy, like, you know, comedy type of a sketch they were doing and the sukkomi is there and he or she tries to find some kind of a mistake or some kind of a place where he can retort he or she can retort you know and when he or she finds that place she kind of stops the other person by a slap just like this you know like a slap or uh, another thing that they have i think they have a like a, a type of a, um what is that like a paper fan i think uh, like you know in Kaguya Sama there's this thing that Chika used, used to slap like uh, like you know slap that um, what was his name uh, the black haired guy I forgot his name what the hell Ishi no I forgot his name what the hell like you know what I'm talking about like you know like he used it to slap him across his head like that type of a fan uh, or something like that like you, the, the Sukumi usually has he or she uses uh, it or like uh, that fan type of thing or his or her hand to slap the other person and kind of retort at something like you know the way like <clears throat> uh, like they did here like Shempa said shut up or something like that like that's not usually how it goes like they usually uh, like you know kind of retort with some witty thing and kind of negates the whole thing that the other person is saying tries to negate it and find like you know um, a portion where they can retort and and sometimes like you know there's this whole thing with like nandeane like that kind of thing like uh, i don't know like it's something like that like there's this sukkomi and bokeh and they usually they like you know this do this kind of a comedy sketch where like they try to make people laugh like this and that was basically it so like nagatoro told uh, senpai to uh, act as a sukkomi like you know nagatoro will say these kind of stuffs about senpai and senpai will stop her and kind of slap her like this and say like you know as like a retort at that moment and like you know like when nagatoro was saying that uh like i was walking down the road and i saw a scarecrow standing then i went like you know in front of it and i realized oh this is not a scarecrow this is senpai and i think like at this moment senpai could have like retorted about something like you know like something something witty i don't know i i don't know how like to retort or how to like sukkomi as they say so something you know like some kind of a witty thing here and <laughs> you know so yeah and but unfortunately <laughs> senpai took everything a bit too seriously and <laughs> like you know it kind of started to Right, you know, a little bit, and Nagatoro here at the beginning she was kind of feeling guilty, but then like that evil smile comes out, and she decides that to take this opportunity to tease him even more. Senpai goes <laughs> above his boiling point and slaps her, <laughs> and you saw what happened after that. <laughs> oh my god! And then <laughs> like. And Nagatoro gets embarrassed again and then like she like for a little bit and she bounces back again and you know like tries to like reverse the whole thing and tries to tease him again and yeah that was basically it. that was like a good like two uh like you know good episode and <clears throat> uh, I don't know how like quickly this is going uh, as far as I can say, like this episode had one, two, I think three or four manga chapters. This one episode contained. Uh, as far as I can remember, Nagatoro is almost at 90 chapters now. So if they keep this pace, um, and this has 12 or 13 episodes. 
so um it will complete almost 48 or 50 chapters you know so a chance of a second season is there because uh there's enough you know um source material and the manga is still ongoing so yeah anyway that's just something that i you know kind of thought about because obviously like the the manga chapters uh, are usually like you know kind of small compared to an anime episode 24 an uh, minutes anime episode so and like nagatoro is like a light-hearted you know a slice of life type of a, an uh, like anime with uh, an anime and manga with like not much dialogue you know like simple things are happening there's no like huge plot or something which needs explanation or all so like the manga chapters go quickly in an anime episode so they can like probably fit like three or four manga chapters in one episode so like they will cover a, a lot of the manga chapters and i'm looking forward to it and i hope that we get another season of uh, nagato this is barely the start and i'm talking the about second season what the hell but anyways like you know like uzaki chan gets is getting a second season so i'm guessing you know uh, nagato will also get some something and another thing that i wanted to say is like i was saying this before like this whole thing with like you know one girl one boy type of um uh, like mangas which are like the size of life and lighthearted uh, these are like you know getting more popular and i'm really glad about that because there's a lot of like you know manga like that which i hope like you know will get animated uh, uh for example uh takagi-san is one that that was like animated quite a while ago and i'm sure we'll get more seasons of it uh, takagi-san and then like this one uh nagatoro uzaki-chan um what else there's another show that is coming uh which is uh, made by the same manga author uh, who made uh, takagi-san you know uh i cannot remember i think it's also getting an anime the uh, female lead looks a lot like takagi-san but as far as i know like it's kind of reverse i don't know like or am i mistaking something something like that like it's also good like that is uh, i think getting an anime uh, there's another uh, and uh, manga that's getting an anime that is like um senpai ga Uz what was that there's like an office like it's like an uh, office rom-com where there's like uh like you know office lady uh, who is quite you know um short and cute and the, the this is the huge guy i don't remember it's uh, the name like i think it was something called senpai ga uzai just a sec let me check the name yeah this one um senpai ga uzai kohai no hanashi this one uh, this is uh, this is getting an anime isn't it yeah this is another thing that's uh, that's happening another one that's getting an anime is sono bisco doll wa just a sec sono yeah this one sono bisco doll wa koisu koi, koi suru uh this is also getting an adaptation yeah and i have to say i'll probably react to this one because i read the manga and it had gorgeous art and like you know it had a, quite an amazing story as well i really liked the manga and you know so i'll probably react to this as well when it comes out and like these type of shows are getting more adaptations i'm really glad about this because i never thought that we'll see a day where these type of like you know uh, mangas get adapt adaptations because these type of mangas were just there you know like we usually got to like got adaptations of like hugely popular you know light novels mangas of like shonen genres or like thriller genre genres for example my hero academia uh, and all the other like you know uh, harem animes and like isekais like left and right isekais <laughs> so like and so I, I never thought that we'll see a day where these type of mangas will get recognition i'm really glad because like you know a lot of these type of like mangas are so good i i know a lot more like these type of uh, like you know mangas as well but i i hope like all of them gets their adaptations like there's i think as far as i can remember there's also another manga where there's like a delinquent is like the main female lead you know and Anzo Anzo San Anzo San is also another one. Uh, wh wh what was the name? Um, uh, Yancha Galvo Anzo San. No Anzo San. It's also like Nagatoro, you know, like this female lead also tries to mess with 
like you know the male lead but like <laughs> like she's a lot more what can i say like calm calmer than nal nathu is like chaos chaotic she's not like, completely like that she teases him but you know uh, within limits <laughs> but yeah so anyways uh, i kind of went on a tangent so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was isna ide nagathoru san episode number 3 So yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you to the channel if you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll check them out so yeah guys um i'll be back with another episode of isra nayade nagatoro san next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day